everyone welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix in today's tutorial we are going to see the one of the interesting topic about shell programming and that is nothing but special characters or special variables in shell so before going to jump into that let's see if you have the things so let me clear the screen and I'll make my path directly correct so I'm in the correct Unix directory and let me see the data set everything is clear so we are good to proceed on my terminal so let's start the very first special character is dollar a dollar character represent the process ID number or the PID of current shell if you want to see the what is the current process ID running so you can just do echo and the dollar so the dollar first dollar is for the variable detect detection and the second dollar is for PID so 4325 is PID Sorry. so let's minus uh, EF uh, let me clear and let's echo the PID And let's script PS minus C. Let's let's just echo the the uh, PID and let's see what it has. PS minus EF grip four three two five. So th these actually these are the processes running so you can see which is the original it is a bash command so this is the PID we are able to so you can just echo the PID and based on that PID you can gather the other information also so what is what is the command we ran whether it's a bash command or not etc so the dollar character represent the PID other special character variables are dollar o the file name of current script or i would say dollar zero then dollar n the variable correspond to the argument with which a script was invoked here the n is a positive decimal number corresponding to the position of an argument the first argument is dollar one the second argument is a dollar two and so on the dollar hash that is hash special variable gives us the number of arguments which are supplied to script so that we can iterate over those number of variables and we can echo or we can use those variables in our script dollar asterisk it represent all the arguments are double quoted if a script receives two arguments dollar asterisk is equivalent to dollar one and dollar two dollar at symbol it is it is the same as dollar asterisk and it gives the details if a script receives two arguments then it will the dollar at symbol is equivalent to dollar a dollar one and dollar two dollar question mark it is to exit uh, to see what is the last command status or the exit status of the last command executed dollar dollar this variable will give us the process number of the current shell for the shell script this is the process id under which they are executing dollar exclamatory mark this pro uh, the process number of last background command so it will give that details so so in order to demonstrate that so I just created one script let's do ls minus ldr so this is special var script let me show you what this script contains so very first line is hash bang with bin and sh then we have just echoing command to execute dollar zero if you remember that is the very first argument which is nothing but the script name which is going to execute echo 
I am the dollar one so whatever you are sending in the line one it will be printed echo learning and we are printing the dollar two that is the second argument here are quoted argue uh, quoted values dollar at here are quoted values dollar asterisk as we know dollar at and dollar asterisk works on the same line here are the total number of parameters dollar hash how many parameters you have sent so all of these are the commands so echo is treated as a one command so you so this the last execution what are the command you executed what is the status of that is captured in the dollar question mark and we are assigning to this va this variable exit value and we are printing exit value here so we'll see what are the exit values and how to interpret those so these are very basic lines uh, we have written here so let's execute this so i'm just doing the special var then the first argument suppose i'm sending name and the second argument is unix technology let's try out how it works so this will first print command to execute that is my way uh, file which is getting executed echo i am ohm that is a kind of name learning unix technology echo here are quoted values ohm unix technology what i have sent that is oh, first and second value it's getting printed here are quoted values using the uh, the dollar symbol dollar sx symbol here are total number of parameters the total number of parameters are two exit value is zero so we'll see what is the zero what else value will get etc let me do a couple of changes so you can notice here are some code bugs like i am not using the ending code so let's try to update that so one thing to notice so even if i gave that ending code it is not getting printed so it could be other uh, reason first could uh, first reason could be uh, we are using the the variables here and those variables need to be uh, not capturing appropriate message so what i'll do i'll just make it editable and let's try out this thing and see how it works i'll just update one it's wq to save and let's run the command okay it is still not printing rather it it gives me message echo which is a wrong thing so whenever you print whenever you say echo it should clearly print the actual value rather than the echo string so let's see what are the things we can do to fix that i'm just going to edit it insert it enter and I'll do one more thing if you observe there is a root cause because the commas are not correctly uh, printed or it's not correct commas you have to use appropriate commas otherwise this kind of issue might occur so the double quotes are not appropriate not a comma so we have to fix those and we'll see how it works so this time the code code will not give any issue so you will get clear text as expected so now you can see that issue got resolved so those kind of issue you will notice when you building your script so let me clear for better visibility so you can see all the correct things i can see command to execute i am ohm learning unix technology here are the quoted values total number of variables what will happen if the number of variables changes right now I just send two variables or the two parameters or two arguments the arguments are treated based on the how the space so one space is treated as the separator for the arguments let's try one more thing in or i'll just give one year 
that is 2000 suppose 17 LSC so you can see three, it is treated three argument because we have the space here between the arguments so first argument picked as its own zeroth argument is the the command second argument is the unix technology and third argument it is printed inside the quoted values as a 2017 and now i can see there are three arguments and the exit of the last execution is exit value is zero let me try the other thing instead of uh, sending uh, in a different i'll just send into the quotes let's see what we we'll say now this time the number of argument you'll see the one so i am i am all the printed this all the characters are printed under the first parameters so you can say if you if you have the space in your argument just use in the double quotes it will be treated as a single argument let's some more things about the uh dollar asterisk and dollar at variable dollar asterisk and dollar at both will act the same unless they are enclosed in the double quotes these variables are used to all the command line argument at a once dollar asterisk takes the entire list as a one argument with the space between the dollar at takes the entire list separate it into space uh, separate into arguments for example here we are just doing for token or you can use any words in dollar asterisk do echo dollar token and done so let's try this example how it works in the code so i'm going to use the same script to demonstrate it we just make it editable by using the i key just enter it what i'll do i'll just check the uh, this the script is we already wrote this bash uh, a hash and the exclamatory mark you have to just use the for loop for token in then we have to use the dollar asterisk and do done loop so let's try out that we have to use for loop you can use any variable i will using tmp variable in oh. So it is actually if you notice it is in uh, there are other options also we'll explore going forward we'll just use the small case because unix scripts are very case sensitive then use the dollar asterisk then we'll start the do loop and here we'll just echo and just use the dollar tmp whatever we have just created and then we'll print it done and let's see how it goes so it printed the all the variables one by one so if you notice even if i sending the arguments so it separate it create the argument by separating based on the space and it is printing all that so instead of asterisk let's try with the add symbol and we will see how it will work dollar add symbol we'll execute the command and see so if you notice both the cases here also it is printed separately and here also printed separately so both the dollar add and dollar aesthetic commands work the same so it is more kind of iteration purpose or you can use this value in your program as per your need or conditional usage these are the details about the add and asterisk symbol now most of the times we need to know the whether the previously executed program is successfully completed or not and based on the status we have to execute the next command so in such cases uh, this dollar question mark symbol really helpful because this gives us the status of the ex uh, previous command which we executed 
exit status is a numerical value written by the every program or every command. 0 will be written if the command is successfully executed and 1 if there were unsuccessful occurrences. So if you just do echo um, question mark echo dollar question mark it will give us the status of the previously executed command echo question mark so it is zero zero means whatever I ran previously the previous run was this sh command if it is successful then it will give zero let me try one thing I will just run any wrong command and I will just echo this and I will see what will happen so it gives this mes message 127 which is non-zero so 0 means successful and non-zero means unsuccessful or it has some other meaning not it is not successful it is maybe the command not found or it's invalid command or the error occurs so there will be so many cases based on this valuable change but the zero is always success now I ran the echo dollar question mark which was successful if I run again this it will give me the zero because the previous command was successful and that is the reason in my sh uh, shell script when I said echo it just check the previous execution this this echo if your previous to previous echo failed and the next uh, the previous echo is successful the exit value will be success because it just checks the only previous not any other sequences so these are the very special character you can use in your shell programming. I hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand how to use this special character in your shell programming. Thank you again for watching my video. If you have any questions or queries about Unix tutorial then mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you and have a nice time.